Uh, today I want to talk about the three kinds of wheatgrass that are available on the market today. Two of them we talked about in previous episodes. That's the trade grown wheatgrass, which is grown for about seven to ten days indoors uh, in, in conditions that are really not very natural, but it does produce a nice green food uh, that has about 25 percent the nutritional value of what you see around this here, which is true wheatgrass. Uh, true wheatgrass starts out uh, being planted in the fall. It also can be planted in the spring with spring wheatgrass, but we prefer pines to grow winter wheatgrass. So it's planted in the fall uh, when the soil is uh, still fairly warm, the, the temperatures in the air are, are somewhat cold. So that induces the seed to grow long roots going down uh, about a foot in the ground and only about an inch of, uh, of uh, wheatgrass in the fall. Uh, that inch of wheatgrass in the long roots carries it through the winter. Uh, it snows, it's cold, it's freezing most days. And then the spring, uh, slowly but surely, uh, week after week, it gets greener, lusher. Uh, it doesn't grow too much in height, but it just gets greener and greener. Until finally it is uh, ready to be harvested as far as we are concerned. Th this is where you get into this distinction between true wheatgrass, such as we grow at Pines, and what they call flag grass, which is really not wheatgrass at all. What flag grass is the wheat plant after the wheatgrass stage. As you can see in this picture, the, at the bottom of each of these stems is a, a true wheatgrass, which has now lost all of its nutritional value as that nutritional value is gone to make the grain. You can see a comparison here in the two pictures. This is true wheatgrass, that, like we grow with pines, and this is the uh, flag grass, which is really not wheatgrass at all. It's, a, it's after the jointing stage, it's after it starts to grow. Now, as you can see on the ruler here, there's about five times more growth here than there is in true wheatgrass. So what happens is that most companies are dehydrating and, and harvesting flag grass and calling it wheatgrass, which it really isn't. It's really flag grass. Uh, the true wheatgrass doesn't have stems in it. It doesn't have the seed heads in it. It's just lush. In this picture, you can see here's a wider place on the stalks where the seed head is. And then this other picture, we, we cut that seed, that wide place with our fingernail to show inside that stalk is the seed head. Now this seed head was created because of the nutrition in the wheatgrass. But since the wheatgrass is no longer there, it is actually gone to make the seed head. So you're getting five times more product per acre with the flag grass than you are with the wheatgrass. That's why most of the products that are sold on the market today are flag grass incorrectly labeled as wheatgrass. There's nutrition in flag grass, but not nearly as much nutrition as there is in the, in the true wheatgrass, which has the grass juice factor, all the, all the uh, factors that were studied in the research are in the, are in the uh, true wheatgrass, but not in the flag grass. Now let's look at some products and so you can get a better idea of the difference between the color of true wheatgrass and flag grass. Let's look at what Pines wheatgrass looks like right out of the bottle, an auction free bottle. We'll put a little pile of it there. Okay, Pines is the only company to package in amber glass bottles with a special metal cap. The seal right here pre prevents oxygen and humidity from getting in the package. We, are the only company to remove all the air from the package and replace it with a 100% atmosphere that has no oxygen in it. That way the product is still as fresh as the day it was harvested. And that seal fits tight against the lip of the glass and even after you open it, if you screw the lid down tight, you can feel that seal keep the product fresh. Most all the rest of the products are in plastic bottles and they supply a lot of companies with wheatgrass and here's the color of it. They call that wheatgrass. Now that's really flag grass. You can tell by the fiber in it that it's flag grass. It's not really wheatgrass. That's part of why it's got a bad color. It's also got a bad color because it was packaged in plastic. Now here's a company that does flag grass too, uh, but they remove the stems, remove the uh, stems in it by using a aspiration technique that blows off the stems, but you can still see quite a bit of fiber in it and the color uh, is not particularly good product green. So let's see how green it is. Again it's very obviously flag grass not wheat grass and the color is very similar. Now it looks a little darker but it's mostly because the humidity has gotten into this product and has darkened it. Uh, this is put in a plastic bag and now you can see what this is. 
That's that they're saying is a green a green food. I believe these this one here I believe came from China, and then this company here also uh, all the product they sell is from China, and and nearly every uh, company is buying now from this company. And let me dump out the contents of theirs here. There's that one. And sometimes in order to cover up this color, they'll add chocolate to it to make it to then you can't tell how green it was. And here's one that's got chocolate added. Uh, so you don't know what they started with, whether it was one of these or it certainly wasn't pine because we don't we, we recommend people add their own chocolate. Right here, green superfood, and I haven't opened this yet. Open it now. It's in a glass bottle, which is good, but it has a plastic cap, so I'm not sure what they're thinking there. I mean, how is that gonna uh, let's see what kind of seal they have in there. If they got the kind of seal that we have at Pine. No, it's a paper paper seal here. And then this is a light paper seal on the product. I'll open it now. And this is a green superfood. I uh, just got it. Brand new. Right fresh out of store. A green superfood. Let's look closely at these samples one more time. This one appears to be as dark a green as this one, but you see it's really more of a brownish black color than a green, bright green color like pine sweetgrass. One way we can test the true color is to add a little bit of water. We'll add a milliliter of water to each one of these. I made a little dent in each one to, to deal with that. Now you can see the pines wheatgrass, uh, this particular one here, the water absorbed very quickly, which is good, and it's a very dark green. This one has become a, a more of a dark brown. This one that had turned a darker color because of humidity, is, as it turns out, when you add water to it, it's not as green as the pines. It's more of a dark brown color. This is a dark brown. This is this Chinese product, very dark brown. This is another Chinese product. Most mixes now have this product in it. It's the biggest uh, supplier of wheatgrass uh, in the United States today uh, from China. Uh, and it's not a green color at all. The chocolate wheatgrass doesn't dissolve it well and it's, you can't tell what color the wheatgrass was that was in there. And then this one here is, is kind of a brownish color too. Only the pines has that dark green color that you see in true wheatgrass. The rest are flag grass. And they are also sold in plastic bottles and tubs, which devitalize the flag grass even further to where it's mostly brown when you add water to it.